purpose of sampling. So in the judgmental sampling, or it is also called as judgmental sampling, this method, researchers select this sample based purely on the researcher's knowledge and credibility. In other words, researchers choose only those people who they deem fit to participate in the research study. Judgmental or purposive sampling is not a scientific method of sampling. That's the downside of this sampling technique. So the, down, the other downside of sampling technique is that the preconceived notions of the researcher can influence the result. Again, you see, again, in non-probability, there's a lot of biases that is happening in all their techniques. Thus, this research technique involves higher amount of ambiguity. The purposive sampling is common in qualitative and mixed method research design, especially when considering specific issues with unique cases. Note like random sampling, which deliberately include a diverse cross-section of age, background, and culture. The idea behind purposive sampling is to concentrate on people with particular characteristics who will enable you to answer your research questions. The sampling being studied is not representative. So this sample being studied is not representative of the population. Again, I'm repeating this. But for certain qualitative and mixed method, researcher design, so this is not an issue. The common purpose of sampling techniques include heterogeneous sampling, that is maximum variation, homogeneous sampling, typical case sampling, extreme deviant case sampling, critical case sampling, expert sampling. These can either be used on their own or in combination with other purposive sampling techniques. So now you must be wondering, what is the difference between convenience and purposive sampling? Purposive sampling and convenience sampling are often used interchangeably, but they are two different methods. Researchers in convenience sampling will recruit participants based solely on convenience and accessibility. They will leverage individuals that can be accessed with minimum effort. On the other hand, researchers in purposive sampling will use judgment on planning to select sample of individuals that will benefit their study. Researchers must have prior knowledge about the purpose of the study, so they can choose participants that will fit certain characteristics and represents the greater population of the interest.